do it. Do you want to just do it? No. <laughs> okay. You can do whatever. Okay, how old are you both? 21. 21. Okay. And how long ago since you were married? One A month. month. And? That's the 12th. 12 days. Okay. So tell me, do you remember, like, the date that you met? Do you remember the exact date? The year? We met, let's see, summer right. of mm -hmm. 2000. Summer of 2000? Yeah. Okay. So tell me how you met. What what, what were the circumstances? <laughs> um, it was at the lakes. Okay. And she was going out with one of my friends. And how were you hanging with your friend, and she came along, or did you come across him someplace as a as a couple? Or? Um, the first time, me and me and that friend that she was seeing, we were together and we seen her, and then later on it was those two were together. I was with some other friends when I seen them. Okay. When you saw her, what did you think? <laughs> What's going through your mind? The normal things. What? Hubba hubba. <laughs> that night, she was mean to me all the time. <laughs> she didn't pay any attention to me. I was you weren't used to being ignored? No. <laughs> so she was mean, like she would say mean stuff to you too, or? No, she just, it's like I didn't even exist. <laughs> <laughs> so Carrie, what do you remember thinking? Do you remember purposefully doing that? Oh yeah. Because? I thought he was a player. Okay. He just had that look on him that he was one, so I was like, I'm going to give him the time of day. So I didn't. Yeah. Wasn't all part of your ploy to get him more interested? No. Not at all. <laughs> so did it make you more interested or? Mm, I suppose. Challenge? Yeah. Well, he didn't pursue me. No. No, we didn't. Um, like I only ended up doing that friend for like a month. So then after that. I ran into him a couple times that summer, just said hi or whatever, and then I didn't think about him ever again for six more months. We didn't see each other, run across each other, nothing. Okay. Until we were at Woody's Pizza. Okay. When was that then? December 16th-ish or something. Okay. And you both ended up at the same place and remembered each other, and mm -hmm. you were probably both with friends. Mm -hmm. And then? I made her come talk to me. I didn't go talk to her. Because when we were there, it seemed like there was all sorts of people around her table. So I just told her to come over and talk to me, because I wasn't going to walk over. <laughs> and I knew I remembered him, but I couldn't remember how, or where, or who he was. <laughs> So then I was like, who are you? I was like, Ken. I'm like, oh, duh. So you kind of motioned to her to come over? He did this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I just started to work the magic. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you remember talking about? Just, I don't know. I'm going to school at Estherville. Yeah. That's about it. We didn't really talk that long that night. Okay. But that was the beginning. That mm -hmm. was the beginning. So you started, what, butterflies and stuff like that, or what? Or just the, the determination? Well, he said he'd call me the next day, and I don't think he really would. I didn't expect him to actually call me. Okay, so he called you, and... I remember being excited because... 
when, uh, like after I called her or whatever, we went over. I went over to her house and watched some movies and stuff, and then I went back. And we were gonna meet at the marquee like that next coming Wednesday. And then I was standing with all my friends, and then her and her friends came in. And was, I was like, girl, she's like, I'm like, watch this guy. So I looked up and started talking. <laughs> you know her? <laughs> it was pretty funny. <laughs> So you were officially a couple then, or just kind of became that way as time went on? Like at the end of the, the first week, he's like, so are you my girlfriend? <laughs> I said what? Yeah. I'm my remember. girlfriend. Yeah, I probably did say that. <laughs> okay, so then how long did you date total? before you were married? A year and 11 months. Okay. And when did you get engaged in that time? May 22nd, okay. 2002. And how did that come about? Had you guys talked about future plans and, and kind of progressed to that? Or? Yeah. We had talked about it and we said that we didn't have the money because I wanted to fix my car and I had all this money saved up to fix a car and then came down to whether I would fix my car and drive it or buy a ring. <laughs> <laughs> and you chose the ring? Yeah. So you just walked everywhere after that? Or? <laughs> no, it was the new car. Fix my new car still sits in Kurt's dead zone. It doesn't <laughs> so it hasn't happened yet? No. Okay, so how, how did you ask her then? I just did. We were just at home. Sitting in my pajamas. I didn't do anything real. Not very romantic. So you're in your apartment? You expected it? I knew it was coming, but not that night. Not dressed like that? No. <laughs> okay. And what did you say? I asked her. <laughs> <laughs> Will you marry me? Yeah. yeah. And you responded right away, and you weren't like all shocked. and. I wasn't shocked, but I didn't know he was asking me. I didn't know what he was doing. <laughs> He got up to, okay, we were watching a movie, and he got up to go to the bathroom. And then he came back, sat down. A couple minutes later, he got up to go to the bathroom again. I'm like, what are you doing? You just went to the bathroom. He's like, I gotta go again. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so he comes out. He gets down in front of me, like right here on the couch. And I'm like, what are you doing? Come up here. He's like, I'm going to give you a hug. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. So I gave him a hug, and then he's like, I love you so much, and I don't know. I don't remember. I, something like I want, I didn't, he didn't show me the ring yet. He said something about getting married. Do you want to marry me too? And I go, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, good, and he whips out the <laughs> ring. He's like, because I got it. <laughs> <laughs> and then. I'm like, well, are you going to ask me? And then he asked. So then did you call people up right away, or how did you go about telling people? No, not that night, because it was like 11 o'clock at night. So, so you... Just waited until the next morning. You went to in person, or did you... No, I just called. You want to show the ring? We can get a zoom up, zoom in later. Mm -hmm. So then, talking about making the plans for getting married and stuff, did you have a date picked out fairly early? Yeah, it took a couple of weeks to figure it out, but yeah, it came pretty easily. Okay. And why did you pick the time that you did, the date that you did? Because it was right by Thanksgiving. 
because then everybody's got time off and because my family's all over. Mm -hmm. So it would have been easier for them to come. Okay. So this was May, got engaged? Mm -hmm. And then the same year? Mm -hmm. November 30th. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 2002. So, uh, and then talk about like your planning it and your dreams and stuff. What did you for sure want? What did you not care about? I didn't do anything really. She did everything and I just, okay, yeah, that sounds good. So you didn't have any preferences to do this or don't do this? You had a few. I don't know they were. Mm, nothing real major. Mm -hmm. Those comments that he makes, well, I don't want And who married you? Oh, Seth Sundstrom. Okay. Pastor from our church, the Crossing. Okay. The Crossing Church in Sioux Falls. And how long had you known him? I had known him for a year. Okay. And you knew who you wanted him? Yeah. Yeah. Anything else, uh, wedding plan-wise, that you, that you, Carrie, wanted specifically? And or knew you didn't care about so much? Or? No, I was pretty open to everything. I just wanted it to make it easy. I didn't want it to be a stressful thing. Mm -hmm. So if my mom had ideas, you know, unless it's totally, you know, bad, then I just went along with it, whatever, to make it easier, mm -hmm. more fun to do. Um, you're dressed, it, was that a special find or did you just kind of say, oh, that's cool, I'll use that? Um, well, it was a really good deal compared to a lot of them. And my mom wanted me to try it on and I was like, oh, I didn't really like it hanging there, you know, and stuff. And then I put it on and then I knew it was the one. Mm -hmm. It was between two of them, actually. And I couldn't decide between two of them. But everybody was like, you just glow when you put that one on. And the other one more kind of reminded you of more of a spring wedding or so. Mm -hmm. so. So would you try on a whole bunch of dresses before then? Or? Yeah. And a couple different days of the dresses. Okay. And then uh, tell me who, who stood up for you both at the wedding. Um, Kaylin, my sister, was the brides, no, maid of honor. And then I had April and Dawn. Whitney, and then my friend Kristen from school. From so Stewart's. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I had my cousin Trevor was my best man, and then my cousins Ben and Tim, and then my two friends Colin and Nate. Okay. And then was that pretty easy picking those people? Yeah. No. I wanted more. I wanted to have one more person, but she didn't want to. I wanted less. I wanted four, and he wanted six. So we compromised for five. Okay, how were um, parents and family with wedding planning? Were they helpful and mm -hmm. not too stressed? And My mom did a lot of it. Did a lot of it. It was hard because I couldn't do much. So I was, you know, up in Sioux Falls and weddings back here, so so was there anybody that couldn't make it that day that uh, 